Jesus' last words were, it's finished, finish the complete work in Christ. Jesus' finished work on the cross. It's complete. We have a new address. We're repositioned in Christ Jesus. Through the cross, we have power over sin. The power over sin is broken. And the consequences of sin uh, we've, were overcome on the cross. We have a new identity. and We've been repositioned in Christ Jesus. No longer are we positioned in Adam. And for most Christians, uh, heaven is what they think of as the reward for being a Christian. The reward is being in Christ. It's discovering who we are and our position and our identity in Christ. This is the reward. And yes, we get heaven, uh, but the real reward is our position in Christ. We've been transformed into a new creation in the same image of God and in the likeness of God. The image of God is eternal and, he's in, and we're spirit beings in Christ. This mark through the complete finished work on the cross marked the beginning of the new creation. The old is gone, the new is here. The new covenant of grace entered in. We're no longer under the old covenant of the law, the Ten Commandments, the curse, judgment was taken on the cross. We can boldly enter into God's presence. This marked the gateway into constant fellowship with God and believers in Christ Jesus. Again, not on anything we did, but it's what the obedience of Jesus Christ of what he did. We died to sin, we're dead to sin, we're alive to God in Christ Jesus. And mankind was made righteous, even if some do not accept Jesus as their Savior and Lord. Meaning what Jesus, what God's love did was for all mankind in and through Jesus Christ, even though some may not accept Jesus as Lord. What he, his will is that all would come to know Jesus as Lord. And through the complete finished work with, was provided eternal, not temporal, eternal forgiveness of sin. And on the cross, the devil was defeated. We have power over Satan. We have authority over Satan. And we're seated at the right hand of God in Christ Jesus in the heavenly realm. Now let's look at this and understand that we died. I died with Christ. And you'll see, I've got my picture in there just to kind of personalize, to personalize this, is that I've been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, I've, I died. And I was buried with Christ. And so you see my picture here too. And I rose from the dead in Christ. And the picture is there. And we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live in new life. So we're crucified with Christ, we're buried with Christ, we rose with Christ, and I am seated on the throne in Christ. And so, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. We have a new address, and that's in the heavenly realms.